Good morning. Happy Friday. It's September 27th. We have numbers of 27 and 30 today. Okay, so that's unconditional love, endings, purging, compassion, forgiveness. And then we have the number 30. Oh, oh number 30. So this could be a new child, a new creation, a new idea, a new journey, a new friend. Some kind of new joy. Let's see what else we have. We have three. We have twenty six and twenty six. The moon conjuncts Mars and Virgo. So you could feel feel pretty good today. Uh, moon, emotions, comfort zone with Mars and Virgo. It's courage. It's feeling lively. And, oh, and not only that, you're going to be able to concentrate and get a lot done. Um, for some of you guys, you may be deluding yourself in what you've done or what you're doing. And some of you guys can be uh, susceptible to fraud. Moon conjunct Mars, action, Virgo. 26, 26. At 26 degrees, it's being served something or being deserving of something. So some of you guys can experience a war on you because you're different. Some of you guys, let's see maybe emotional or angry you could be so angry that you could cry and not know why okay so somebody out there might be recognizing that you need to develop some tools in order to cope okay so let <laughs> immediately i was gonna say let's get going and immediately three cards pop out oh i haven't seen these cards in a little bit Oh, four together. Concern, distant horizons, official person, and lovers. Okay, I'm gonna put this deck on the side for a minute. Concern. Worry. So a lot of you, you may or may not recognize your feelings. Those of you who recognize what's going on because you've been through this before and you've been attempting to master yourself and create some kind of peace within as we're moving out of the Virgo energy into the Libra energy. Okay, so there's a lot of worries, a lot of fears, a lot of concerns. And some of you guys are like your worries are starting to build your... Uh, obligations are most likely starting to mount to where you are consciously aware of them every second of the day you know before it would be just a thought but every day so you're under stress under a growing stress under a growing mound of fear and worry okay the thing is you can't let it distract you let's clarify concern that card out. I hate when they make me crunch my cards. <laughs> okay, so what do we got here? These are all connected, so I gotta remember. The next card, the next big card we have is Distant Horizons. a little bit of cards. Okay. So Distant Horizons is like my Jupiter card. Um, it's my Wheel of Fortune. It's my
going somewhere foreign, going somewhere alien, a trip of distance, opportunities, looking for opportunities, not staying in one place. So it's kind of like being, not really being committed or losing your loyalty to a commitment, looking for uh, opportunities on the horizon. So that's like, all right, well, I know that things will work out. Whatever I deserve is coming to me. Then we have official person. Announcer, representative, um, official, somebody, the messenger. Official person can be somebody in uniform too, so it can be like first responders. Let's get them in the right order. Okay, so official person has a disclosure, um, an announcement, a discovery, um, a reveal, a disclosure. Did I say disclosure? <laughs> Peace officer. A reporter, an announcer, King of Cups, consideration, lovers. Abundance, if you make the right choice and use your wisdom. And then the last card is lovers. Lovers is about pure abundance. It's about making the right choice, being in your integrity, having discipline. So it could be that you're worried about something, but you're having the opportunity to Discipline yourself at doing the right thing, and it's creating a pattern, creating a new habit, okay, that's going to be more in, in line or aligned with manifestations or your higher timeline and or your higher timeline. Okay, so concern. This is the builder of number 33. Ideas are being created. Ideas are being generated. Concerned about the small details. So you could be giving some attention, some focus to the fine details. You could be building something. Physically building something like a home. You're, you, you're putting together something at work or you're creating something. Craft and art. You're building your skill, possibly obsessively. So there's something here that you're learning. For some of you guys, you're building a home. Or you may, you may be worrying that you have to try a different approach that you have to do a little bit of research, you're not very happy about it, and it's probably not the best, in your best interest, but it kind of feels like you're, you're fishing, you're putting out feelers.
shared resources. So it kind of looks like you may be worried that you have to do some kind of work that you really don't like. That you may have to resort to something else in order to make money and take care of the household. Okay, so with the distant horizons travel, this could be import and export. Maybe you're trying to build an import-export business or you're working uh, on expanding. Maybe you're building another store, another branch, or purchasing a, what is that called, uh, chain, or purchasing a chain, chain of stores. Um, lifting anchor, feeling free, flying. So, three of swords, five of wands, and two of pentacles. Foreign territory. Alien. Terra firma. Um, Three of Swords, Sorrow, Pain, Trauma, Loss. So for some of you guys, you may feel like you don't have much of an opportunity. Five of Wands is fighting though and comp competition. It could be that you could be worried that there's too much competition out there and you're not getting enough customers. to pay the bills. Got fun at this fly. <laughs> There's a fly in here. Two of pentacles, that's like checks. Checks and balances. So, fighting about a check. Five of Wands is a projectile, projecting. It's in also inner security. So you may be getting nervous. You may be uh, you may be losing faith. Okay, in the past you've been unnerved because it's in, a, in their insecurity. It comes out as projection. I'm sorry I projected. Oh, change, finances. I'm sorry I projected. And then a check. So somebody is changing their philosophy. Okay, they're opening up to the fact that every time something happens, and they start to get nervous that they need to check themselves. Okay, they're bringing my eyes to the wedding ring on the Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles is a change. It is a decision to make a change and physically moving to make it. Okay, it's also about obligations. Having to balance obligations. It's also a paper check. Paper check. I feel like possibly some kind of reprimand. Let's see what these cards say. Hangman and King of Pentacles. So, your loss. 
Your loss, the check was given to someone else. You lost an opportunity. You lost out on an opportunity. It was given to someone else. It was given to the wife. They keep putting my eyes to this ring. Like you missed out on an opportunity for money or for work or for something. Some kind of opportunity. Um, because it was given to their partner. Checks and balances. So it feels like the partner is stepping up into the role and helping. I'll help you with this. I just heard delegate. I'll take care of this and you take care of that. Very understandable. I'm, wor <coughs> I'm worried. I don't have enough. I recognize that you're strapped. Let's do something to change that. Okay, I'll take care of this. You take care of that. after a period of wondering what you were going to do. So somebody maybe, uh, when I said it was being delegated, the partner is stepping up and taking care of some bills after a period of being stuck, doing all the investing. King of this is decisive action, taking action. This is an investor. An investor of energy has something to share with you. Okay, um... You guys have been stuck because you guys have been fighting and not working together. You guys have been competing against each other when you guys should have been competing as teammates. Hangman suggests a period of being stuck, of not moving any further until you wise up <laughs> and start to see the forest from the trees. Taking a step back. This could also be, sus oh, suspending your investment of energy. Okay, I heard can't buy me love. So, I can't buy me love. So, th this almost feels like I won't buy you love. So, maybe the partner was forced to step up because the king of this could, couldn't invest or couldn't, uh, provide is that why they keep uh, putting my eyes to the ring or you know that could just simply the wedding ring the fact that we don't have the hierophant here for for wedding or we don't even have the four of wands makes me think that they want me to see not only is there a matrimony a partnership a uh, interdependency here which is what is happening here um Somebody's getting their back scratched finally after holding back on scratching their partner's back. They probably felt like they were giving too much, so they cut off that energy. Okay, I'm going to stop doing this. And the partner steps up and says, oh, here, let me help you with that. So they're getting my attention to the diamond, I think, because the diamond is representative of Aries, okay? What's an Aries? Chiron is an Aries, <laughs> okay? So there's some uh, healing in identity. This person may be stepping up when they see that this person can't do it, that they're stuck, have their hands tied behind their back, okay? The Tower, Prince of Wands, Nine of Cups, and Nine of Wands. Ooh, 999. Nine, nine. Guys, we got 999. Nine, nine. 
under a nine. So we got four nines here. Um, four nines, unconditional love, operating uh, at the vibration of unconditional love, putting an ending to something. Because not only do we have nine of cups, but we also have discipline. Okay, we also have the tower. So something could happen. It could have been, they could have projected to the partner that things better start changing in terms of finances because he can't do it all by himself. And then here comes the tower breaking things down. Prince of Wands, ambition. I'm going to fulfill my dreams. I'm going to stick with my dreams. Okay, so it's like getting help in order to be able to fulfill your dreams. The tower is when shit blows the fuck up, okay? The tower is my uh, 2121. Uh, the tower is when things are broken down in order to be rebuilt, okay? So, maybe this help is, the partner is helping I wish you would help me. Damn it, I just had it. I wish I wish you would help me. So this could be like this could be a really big fight. I wish you would help me. I can't do everything by myself. I'm not happy. Because you just don't seem to have any interest in helping. It's like you say you're going to help, but you don't really help, and then I'm left stuck again. Okay, so this looks like a big fight. Um, somebody's feeling in limbo, and somebody's feeling held back. Announcement, disclosure, consideration, and Gemini attached at the hip. Consideration. You have a pattern of mate and history of making the wrong choices, of avoiding your true feelings with distractions like drinking, drugs. Hold on. Drinking, like drinking, drugs. Uh, some kind of addiction, some kind of obsession that allows you to escape reality. King of Cups has some heavy, intense desires. Okay, and they literally seethe and seethe. Um, Seething beneath the surface, they're, they're, they've got some hot blood. They're magnetic, and I mean hot blood in terms of sex and in terms of war. Okay, whatever they put their passion behind, this is passion lurking just under the surface. But this person kind of, you know, they don't. They're secretive. They don't tell you what they're feeling. You can feel. You might be able to feel what they're feeling, but they've got a stone poker uh, face. But at the same time, they're very emotional and they hide behind a mask. They mask the healing. Mask, um, what is that called? Um, he's, he's got, King of Cups got a horse in this picture and that would be Chiron. And they were drawing my eye to Chiron and they're drawing my eye to the crab in the picture. Chiron, hiding who you truly are, hiding your true feelings, hiding your true feelings. There can be a discovery that you've been hiding your own true feelings, even when you're, a t you might be hiding your feelings about 
your lover. Okay, uh, sometimes it's the right choice, sometimes it isn't. You could be really irritated. They could be constantly needing your attention. Okay, because it, it, I see this frustration and this Nine of Pentacles. It's like you want to be alone. It's irritating. You're waiting to have some quiet time to yourself, but this person is constantly attached at the hip because they're so emotional, and most likely they have some kind of addiction, addictive pattern. You might be their addiction. You might have to tell somebody that you need a break. Then here again is the lovers in Gemini. Okay, so there's a confirmation that this person is on you, mimicking you, following. It's like stalking. It's like stalking. They're always up your ass like a toddler or breathing down your neck. Every time you turn around, you can't so much as listen to your own music. You can't enjoy quiet time alone in your thoughts. You can't watch your you can't read on your phone or watch what you want to watch on YouTube because they constantly interfere they come up behind you and stand in front of you and make their presence known forcing you to have to pay attention to them every single fucking second okay like a toddler okay if any of you guys are moms out there you guys know exactly what I'm talking about if you got to go use the bathroom here comes your toddler you know it's like honey honey wait outside mommy's got to take a shit and and they're you know Sitting on your knees. Mommy, what you doing? Mommy, what you doing? Mommy, what you doing? You know? Um, like the monkey on your back. They're constantly needing your attention, your approval, your direction. And at that point, you're like, oh, my God. Too much. Too much. <laughs> too much attention being diverted by the loved ones with nine of pentacles. Okay? You're frustrated that you have to waste so much energy on somebody who's insecure and needy okay mentor of swords you've had it <laughs> you've had all that you can take um oh look at this three of discs and six of discs okay so it's about This is usually teamwork, and it's teamwork with an old boss. Hold on, guys. The mentor, the mentor of swords. This can be some uh, serious violence, too. Here it is. Mentor of swords, spiritual person who uses intellect in service to divine and not to attack unity. Let's do this together. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's. Let's. Lessons about the strengths and limitations of the intellect and sudden physical violence uh, often, often involved from rush conclusion, uh, ending a relationship all the way up to a killing. Okay, so this, this is kind of like realizing, somebody's realizing or you've reached the limit of working alone doing so much work by yourself and now you need to feel like you're getting something back you may have had enough in terms of the six because this is this is six 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 do we have any more sixes over here i think nope six 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 okay that's something that oh six yeah there we go there we go again so we got four sixes and four nines three 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 and thirty three 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 and thirty three so that's like a solid key solid information here um three and six So it feels like there's a pattern being worked on that somebody truly loves you, but they need to develop a different habit. 
what kind of habit? Well, they need to realize that there's only so much that they can leave to you. They can't be leaving you the dirty work. They can't expect you to do it all alone. They need to, uh, they need to help. This is help. Working alone and receiving help. So we're once used to operate as me and you. This is like, all right, we are going to do this, okay? If you're going to be a couple, you need to act as a couple. You also need to maintain separate space for yourself. So there's you, there's me, and there's we, okay? And we support you and me, okay? But it can't be just me and us. You have to acknowledge the other person too, but at the same time, you have to make sure you take care of yourself first. For some of you guys, this may be an old boss coming back. They want you to work for them. You you may be uh you may have an old boss wanting you to do some work for them. With the amount of sixes that are in here, there's a lot uh, coming to terms with the past, coming to terms with the end of doing things by yourself and the and the beginning of cooperation cooperation working together giving and taking having each other's back uh, paying back working hard to pay something back I want to hear res I want to hear I want to say respect this is karmic payback why is they're bringing my eye to this uh dial here that's got a Neptune Neptune symbol in it? I don't know. I'm freaking blind as a damn bat. Hold on. Let me put these glasses on. Yeah, that's Neptune success, generosity. So and what is this? Is that lychee or a flower on the floor? There's two flowers in here. So that tells me that some, uh, something is flourishing. Oh, look at that. It's the same. It's the same. So this one is part of the other. It's, you know, you've got to give and be open to receiving. So this is something here. Um, we've got 369 overall code. Uh, not exactly matching, but we basically have four nines, four sixes, three three, and five threes. Okay, so five threes. There's still a little work that you're going to be doing by yourself, but from now you can expect a little bit of payback. Hold on. And would you look at that? I paused it at 3339. 333. <laughs> so we're gonna pull one card of affirmation. Let's see what the archangels have to tell us. So yeah, it appears here that the divine male has opened up and they're finally starting to give back although you still do more than your fair share of work at least there is a we it's not just me against you it's you and me and us okay so there's definitely a unity consciousness uh finally coming in in terms of the divine males thank you Wait, they like they give me a lot. Okay, let me grab the book because yeah, I was reading that to you guys yesterday. Right. I just don't know where all my stuff is. <laughs> okay, so first of all, um, as we get out of Virgo season, like I said, uh, Mars is still in Virgo, and today the Moon is conjuncting Mars in Virgo. So uh, Virgo is about priorities. Okay. So prioritize, Archangel Metatron. Focus on your highest priorities. I will help you get organized and motivated. And the additional, the additional meaning, what's your calling? What makes your heart sing? When you focus on these areas, 
Your joyful energy increases, which benefits everyone. Take charge of your schedule and spend more time on projects and activities close to your heart. Make choices that honor your priorities and support your life's mission. Okay, so the priority, prioritize spell out on the announcement or the disclosure that there's an issue <laughs> that needs to be worked on. Um, make time for yourself. Make sure you get proper rest. If you need to take a break, take a break. I know it's hard with the the uh, toddler all up your ass kind of thing, um, always constantly needing your attention, but you need to realize uh, that you do have to make time for yourself. Otherwise, you know, this is going to be not having time for yourself, but being alone. Bye-bye, <laughs> um, partner. You're irritating me. But, uh, yeah, you've got to give them space and time to recoup and recover. I don't know what your sign is, whoever's watching this, but you definitely need a lot more time to meditate or at least to be able to have thoughts without them being constantly interrupted by this chatty person who most likely is under the influence of something. Spiritual understanding, Archangel Raziel. I am bringing you esoteric information and symbols and helping you understand spiritual truths. Okay, so I've been seeing this, the symbol, the aster, I've been seeing that quite a bit. Um, it refers to the star. I don't know if it's the star of David or the star of Venus, which we're moving into Libra season, or if it has to do, yeah, actually it does. It has to do with, it has to do with the Libra season because Libra is represented by Venus. In Venus's picture, there's the bunny, yeah, Easter, rising again. So it's kind of like a, a spiritual understanding. It's creation. It is bringing something back, remembering, spiritual understanding. Okay, let me see what the uh, additional meaning says. Stay there. Additional message. Your spiritual understanding is rising to another level as you open up to new ways of looking at life. Keep an open mind and let go of limited thinking and illusions. Pay attention to the signs, the information that comes to you three times or more. Notice geometric shapes and symbols in your fit, uh, physical and psychic vision. Know that your increased awareness may shift your relationships and career goals. I'll guide you through those changes so that life mirrors your inner experiences. Okay, well, I just told you that I've been seeing the aster, so I mean, it's totally representative of, do look for the signs, okay? Make yourself a priority, but don't forget, don't let yourself suffer for the relationship, okay? And understand that you are the creator, so if you do allow that to suffer, you are creating those conditions for yourself, Comfort, outdoors, and spread your wings. Okay, comfort. Archangel Azrael, I am with you in your time of need, helping your heart to heal. And that was on, ooh, with this tower moment, with the anger, with the anger. Um, could be a fight. Or it could be a sudden opportunity to be happy, like satisfied. So something happens that makes you satisfied and it's kind of like it makes you feel better with with the comfort is it comfort I was on yeah comfort with the comfort even the strongest person experiences upsetting uh, situations and there's no shame in taking time to heal your heart this is a good time for quiet reflection upon your true feelings. Write them down in a private journal and then call upon me to bring comfort to your heart and mind. I can help you sleep better at night and put your mind at ease. Okay, so yeah, definitely there was a fight. There was a realization. And after a period of being stuck, somebody's uh, finally going to get some help because they spoke up. Outdoors, Archangel Jophiel, go outside, get some fresh air, and connect with nature to relieve stress and gain new creative ideas. Very important to get rest and exercise. 
Additional meaning, connecting with nature helps synchronize your rhythms to the universal heartbeat. In this way, your natural timing improves so that you are in the right place at the right time. Being in nature renews your spirit and revives your energy level. Get outside every day, even if it takes effort on your part. Once you're in nature, take time to smell the roses and to observe the glorious beauty. Know that you're part of nature and you're also beautiful. Okay, so no, it, this is about noticing the fine details and appreciating these small things. Appreciate the little details. Appreciate the little things. Okay, because the little things can make a big difference. Spread your wings, Archangel Ariel. Do not hold back right now. The timing is perfect and you are ready to soar. No. Okay, and it did, uh, in the distant horizons, the... Uh, bird here I can't even see what kind of bird that is but anyways it caught my eye the bird soaring that is a cord of lifting anchor for new horizons okay so spreading your wings is about flying from the nest Additional message, although you may feel intimidated by the prospect of change and by the thought of moving past your comfort zone, you're ready to fly high. Welcome new opportunities, which you have right here, and know that it's safe to follow your heart and your dreams. Keep your focus upon love, service, and spirit, okay, and avoid naysayers and skeptics. Remember that you inspire others with your story of turning challenges into victories, all right, guys, um, if I'm not mistaken, the reading that I did yesterday was about that, was about telling your story about how you overcame. So it kind of feels like a continuation of yesterday's story, although not everything will apply to everyone. But all right, guys, that's all I got for you today. I'll see you later. Take care.